Hello and welcome back to Dark Parables, The Final Cinderella. In this video, we will go through chapter number 10. Come on, detective! I think Pinocchio is really excited because this is the end of the game. We're almost there! He wants us to follow him to the glass carriage. The pumpkin carriage has enough energy for only one trip. Have you got everything you need? My mistake, the pumpkin carriage. We are going to use it to go back to Mirror World. Come on, detective, let's go! says Pinocchio with his face devoid of emotion. Seriously, Pinocchio, your face is creeping me out. Show some emotion. Smile. Do something, Pinoc! Uh, oh well. Uh, hidden objects challenge right over here. We are creating the awesome fire scepter. Whatever that is. It, it sounds dangerous. does sound dangerous. Are we sure we know what we're doing here? This, 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 this certainly does not seem like something that should be taken lightly. So the evil monster has left for some reason, and we found the final piece of Oriental Cinderella. Hmm, looks like we need a Booster here. Oh, and we have a new parable, the Forbidden Grove. Deep inside the mirror world lies a grove of trees filled with great spiritual power. This magical grove can only be accessed by means of specially enchanted mirrors. Long ago, a band of thieves found one of these mirrors and entered into the mirror world to plunder its treasures. However, they were caught and executed in the magical grove. In death, their souls lingered, corrupting the trees with their hatred and greed. The trees became twisted and deformed, and the grove came to be known as the Forbidden Grove. It is said that if a pure-hearted person created a puppet with wood from these trees, the puppet would be given a soul and come to life. However, if the puppet maker had a tainted heart, the puppet would be soulless. Those who spend too much time in the Forbidden Grove will gradually become corrupted by the thieves' souls and the evil trees. Only the magic glass wand is able to purify the grove. So that's what we're going to do, and uh, we are sort of confused now. Does, does this mean Pinocchio is evil, or Geppetto, he did not have a pure enough heart to make Pinocchio? Does Pinocchio have a soul, or is he just a puppet? I I, I know he's a puppet. What, what, Geppetto? Well, Geppetto is definitely evil now, but was he evil when he created Pinocchio? That's the question. Dispose of this nuisance. I'm nasty, and I have my evil puppets everywhere. Also, hidden objects challenge. We need to find the rose so we can get, get to the evil grove that we just saw a moment ago. Alrighty. What am I missing? Nothing else. Okay. So now I have a rose, perfect. And is there anything we can do inside Pinocchio's house? I have a feeling, yes there is. The third Cinderella, also called the Oriental Cinderella, that's that's what they call the uh, bonus edition of this game. The collector's edition of this game, or the bonus edition if you will, contains a bonus chapter starring the Oriental Cinderella. That's That's what they call that bonus chapter. And let's see what that story is about. Once upon a time, there was a princess in the east named Shan. She had a kind and generous spirit, and all her people loved her. 
Shan had a stepsister named Chi, who was deeply jealous of Shan's popularity. Chi was always playing cruel tricks on Shan, but Shan never bore any ill will toward Chi. One day, Chi discovered that her beloved prince had fallen in love with Shan. In her fury, she used her magic to change Shan into a nine-tailed fox. When the prince came to visit Shan, he found out about Shan's predicament. With Godmother's help, he managed to restore Shan to her human form. He married Shan, and they lived happily ever after. All right, so that is that is the uh, the bonus thing, the bonus game entitled The Oriental Cinderella, in which you defeat the evil Chi and save the beautiful Princess Shan. Rose goes here. And now, to the Forbidden Grove! To stop my father, we should destroy the evil tree first. The evil tree? That's Cinderella? Catherine's soul. Oh no! Okay, so, uh, the glass wand is the only thing that can stop the tree. No? No, but, but the story said, oh, whatever. Father is sending his army to your world! We need to stop him! And a new parable! Geppetto and Pinocchio. There was once a woodcarver named Geppetto who traveled the world in search of wood suitable to carve his puppet masterpiece. One day his wife Amelia brought him wood from the Forbidden Grove, with which he carved a puppet named Pinocchio. To his surprise, the puppet came to life. Pinocchio was shunned by villagers for being a sentient puppet, so he started telling lies to get people's attention. Pinocchio. Seeing his son's loneliness, Geppetto spent several months in the Forbidden Grove carving a giant wooden beast to act as his son's companion and protector. The time Geppetto spent in the grove corrupted him, and he grew obsessed with carving puppets, even neglecting his family for the sake of creating more puppets. The villagers grew afraid of Geppetto and his creepy puppets, so they had him put to death. Devastated, Pinocchio blamed himself for his dad's death. He decided to redeem himself by searching for Cinderella so that he might help his mother revive his dad. Only he's not. He's working with the detective to stop his mother and to stop Geppetto. The evil tree corrupted my father's heart and turned him into the puppet master. To stop my father, we should destroy the evil tree first. So, to destroy the tree, we are going to set it on fire, because the magic wand apparently is kind of useless. Right, so this is the giant beanstalk. And we are not actually going to go climbing up the beanstalk. We don't have enough time for that. That is actually going to be the centerpiece of the next game in the series. Um, Jack and the Beanstalk. Some, something about, something about Jack climbing the Beanstalk. Alright, time to kill the tree. Hurry up, detective! So that frees her soul and destroys the puppet army. Thank you, detective. Thank you, little boy, for rescuing me. I was made from the wood in this grove, so my life force is weakening too. Just leave me here, detective. Go defeat the puppet master and restore my dad back to his old self. So we have doomed Pinocchio to death. We are horrible people. Just leave me here, detective. Go defeat the Puppet Master, and restore my dad back to his old self. Well... Uh, hopefully Pinocchio will be okay. In the meantime, a hidden objects challenge, you might have noticed. Keeping with the theme of finding four things in every chapter, we are finding four of these medallion thingies. We already have two. Looks like we need to find uh, two more. And of course... 
they are hidden by hidden objects challenges. So really, we just need to solve two hidden objects challenges. Maybe I'm getting lazy at the end of the game because I am just spamming the hint button at this point, trying to find everything. This. Okay, final thing is this. Rune shard. Oh, I thought these were medallions. Okay. Okay, colored rune shards. Beast. Get rid of this detective. Oh, oh, it's this monster. Oh, oh dear. It has returned and it is basically angry and evil and monstrous. Fortunately, you know, Geppetto says, Beast, get rid of this detective. And the beast doesn't do anything to get rid of us. It just sort of sits there doing nothing. Ha, ah, that thing. And I'm looking for three more things. There's one. One is sort of reddish. There we go. Alright, beast. I know how to stop you, even though you're not really doing anything at the moment. What you want to do is put all of the rune shards on the beast's forehead. Now you need to repeat the pattern. Just follow the pattern, which is green, red, blue, and then yellow. This lights up the sides. Red, yellow, blue, and then green. Red, yellow, blue, and green. Now the final thing is going counterclockwise, like this. Blue, red, yellow, and then green. Now that you have lit up everything, you have another puzzle. With this puzzle, you want to things around in order to get everything everything all filled up so for example green connects to green here and now it's perfect it's beautiful everybody loves it fantastic that is a fantastic puzzle right need this one here oh right there we go and that's yellow Here we go. The blue, the red, and the yellow intersect each other at that particular point. Come on, both intersect. There we go. Detective. Maybe it's a huge loop around over here. There we go. Okay, so that is how you solve that particular puzzle. Destroying the beast. Uh, Geppetto said something, but I could barely hear him. He's angry. He's upset. We only have one item in our uh, little inventory here. What we want to do is use this item on Geppetto. The magic glass wand will stop Geppetto and bring an end to Dark Parables, the final Cinderella. Uh. What have I done? I almost destroyed this world and the next. It's okay, Geppetto, my love. Everything's turned out fine in the end. Now we can be together forever. Pinocchio, where's our son? We must save our son, Amelia. Using the power of love, they turn Pinocchio into a real boy. Oh. 
I have a real body! Thank you, Mom, Dad. I love you both. It's okay, Detective. I'll look after Pinocchio. Thank you, Cinderella. Thank you very much. Fifteen years later. Fifteen years later! Why did we need to see that twice? What happens fifteen years later? Fifteen years later, they build a statue to Geppetto and the evil godmother, who, as it turned out, were not so evil, I suppose. They were noble in death. Pinocchio's all grown up, and Cinderella apparently is still looking after him, even though he should be all grown up. Huh. Now we get to see uh, images from the game. This was the opening cutscene. Okay, that was Catherine asking for our help. That was Godmother pulling Catherine to Mirror World. That was not very nice. Oh! That, that, that is definitely not very nice at all. This evil beast, which uh, was evil, it was monstrous. Godmother, of course, looking evil and nasty. Ah, she tricked us with a puppet that looked like Cinderella. And then Pinocchio said, Oh boy, we're gonna stop them! And, and then we tried to stop them. And then Pinocchio's Cinderella meter went off, proving that Cinderella was in fact Cinderella. Evil Godmother was happy. She managed to cast an evil spell on Cinderella, which would bring her husband back from the dead. Unfortunately, her husband Geppetto was evil. Very evil indeed. He started attacking her. And he brought his evil puppet army back to life. Meanwhile, on the right-hand side of the screen, we have a bunch of ending credits. Uh, uh, Godmother died, and then we managed to get the magic wand. We took the pumpkin carriage over there. We freed Cinderella. You, you saw this. This was in this video. And then we doomed Pinocchio to death. But his family brought him back to life. And Pinocchio became a real boy. And they built a statue and looked at the statue. And that was it. So this game apparently was made in Hong Kong. Alright, that makes sense. Thank you for playing. Thank you all for watching this video walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we get to see a preview of the next game in the series, which, as I said earlier, was uh, it's, it's something about Jack and the Beanstalk. Parables Untitled game your journey continues in this game, which is not titled over here Oh well, and now that we have beaten the entire game. We have unlocked bonus content the bonus game The Oriental Cinderella found here in the collector's edition of Dark Parables the final Cinderella